months ago I was looking through on the internet and for some other stuff and I kept seeing these pretty decent looking chainsaws for about a hundred bucks so I thought why don't I buy a couple and we'll compare them and see what they have in store so today I'm going to be unboxing this pink way chainsaw it says it's a 63 cc it's supposed to come with a 20 inch and an 18 inch bar doesn't tell you a whole lot. So let's bust into it and see what we got in here. does this say? 63 cc's, 3.6 horsepower, 20 inch. It's supposed to run 25 to 1, but that's not going to happen. Doesn't give a whole lot of information on either end of the box. So, let's see what else we've got here. Roller tip. Oh, there. See, it's for pro use. I shouldn't be playing with this. I'm not a pro. There's a chain. Looks like just a El Cheapo, probably not much different than a one of the holes form is or something like that. 325 58 gauge 76 drive lengths. Got ourselves a little toolkit. Pull rope, screwdriver, it's supposed to be a round file, I'm guessing that's pretty smooth. There. Supposed to come with an 18 inch can. One inch. Well, there's strike one for this saw. Well, there it is. Toggle switch for on and off, choke. Ooh, pass QC. Nice. Definitely feels light. Is that supposed to be a serial number? Feels 
Looks like it's got some bar oil on it already. So there it is. So it's got one of those easy start pull ropes. Not sure if I'm going to be a fan of that or not. Let's take a look underneath here and see what we got for an air filter. Plastic screen style filter. Yep, that's a carburetor. And that feels pretty cheap switch. Well, that's not down in there like it's supposed to be. We've got for carb or a spark plug in here. Grab our scrunch. That was tight. down at that piston. I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. Okay. Top of that piston looks absolutely awful. Looks like it's rough cast and wasn't machined or anything. I don't know if you can see that. Well, uh, See if I can get the bore scope out and look down in there. I'm gonna look at the rest of the cylinder. I also want to uh, put a little two-stroke oil down in there and pre-lube everything. That's any new saws or any really new equipment I get. I like to put some two-stroke down in there, get everything pre-lubed nicely before I even think about firing it up. This is the first of the saws I've opened, so I really don't have a comparison for how this compares to the other one. It looks to me to be nearly identical to the Weimars. Bearing feels dry as a bone in there. I don't know if I dare try to take this off and grease that in there or not. I probably will do that off camera. This has got the front style tensioner, so that's what that other screw in the spare parts kit was. Is a Tensioner screw that apparently I've already lost. Oh, oh, it's in this bag right here. Well, it looks like there's a whole new tensioner. And it's got the, button, the screw and the plate and the pin and everything. So I'm going to uh, pause it here and Let's see what everything looks like. I'll get the bore scope out and hopefully put that in here as well. Yeah. Inside that cylinder look pretty rough. The top of that piston is that's pretty rough cast marks on it. Making this easy start pull rope. Let's see, there's the exhaust port. I do have the muffler pulled off. I'll show you that side. Just 
just trying to see the transfers over there. Right, let's take a look down the exhaust port. Well, I did put some uh, two-stroke oil down in the cylinder. Uh, top of those transfer ports are pretty flat. On this side, look over here. Well, I guess we'll see how it runs. I want to see if I can get down in the carburetor here. It's not going to be. My scope is a little too big, but that's what it looks like on the inside. Let's take a closer look at this chain they sent. Full chisel chain. Appears sh pretty sharp. It does appear to be like a low kickback style. I don't know if that's going to focus or not. But you can see it. It's got a low kickback to it. We'll see. Definitely not seeing any markings on it. What kind of manufacturer it might be. And then we'll take a look at the bar. It's a comprehensive upgrade. Look at that. It does sound and feel like they have greased the sprocket on the end. Here you can see grease down in there. Low kickback. Yeah, reversible, and the oil hole does meet the groove. So, let's see how this uh, chain feels down in there. Doesn't feel horribly sloppy in there. Surprising. Well, let's put it on and see what it looks like. I don't know if you can even see what I'm doing. Plastic definitely feels cheap, especially on that cover. Yeah, 
that might be just a touch tight, but I think we'll be okay. Loosen that up a little bit. Oof. Feels like it's rubbing on something inside. <coughs> Maybe it's just the way it goes over that sprocket. Sounds like that. I'm thinking that chain break is hanging in there. Doesn't feel like it's tight in there. Well, we'll find out when we put it in some wood. That won't be today. It'll be some point in time in the next couple days I assume I've got two more saws coming I want to uh, compare to this one so I'll wait till they come in we'll do an unboxing on those and uh, we'll take this one out test it out well maybe now I'll grab my tripod and we'll give it a first start I'm kind of filming this out of order after I got done uh, firing it up and testing it I was kind of curious what bar mount this is, so I grabbed the bar off my Husky Rancher 50. Thought, well, I'll see if they're the same. And they line right up. So a uh, Rancher 50, which is a Husky small mount bar, looks like it'll fit just perfect. So if anybody's curious as what bar mount this is, it appears to be Rancher 50, which is the Husqvarna small mount. Okay, well I got our pink way chainsaw fueled up with some barn chain oil in it. Let's uh, see if it'll fire up. How many guesses do you think it'll take for it to fire off? I'm gonna. I guess it's going to be six or eight without a uh, primer bulb and completely dry carb. Let's just hope it does fire off.
Well, there, I'd say it runs pretty well. Didn't take a whole lot to tune it. It's idling way high, but I'll have to retune it once I put the 40 to 1 into it. I add a little extra oil to this tank just to help get everything seated properly, but so far, so good. We'll see how it holds up in the wood. All right, thanks for watching.